Hello, good day everyone. Our topic for today is about geometric sequence. Our learning objectives are at the end of the lesson, you're expected to define geometric sequence. You have to use geometric sequence to model and solve real life problems. And number three objective, we have to write the first few terms of a geometric sequence and identify the n term and the common ratio. So here is the geometric sequence in a real life example. So let me read this. Assume that you are symptomatic and a positive patient of COVID-19 and you forgot to cover your mouth when two of your friends came to visit you at home. They left and the next day, they also became positive with virus. Let's assume that each friend in turn spreads the virus to two of their friends by the same droplet spread the following day. Assuming this pattern continues and each sick person infects two other friends, each person infects two more people with the coronavirus. In this scenario, how can we determine the number of persons infected? What are the possible ways to detect the infected persons? So, okay, so example po, ikaw ang pinakaunang case ng COVID. Example lang po. So then, may pumunta na dalawang friends mo sa bahay ninyo, tapos nahawaan mo po sila. Pagka following day po, yung dalawang friends mo na nahawaan mo, ay may nahawaan ding iba. Then, yung ibang nahawaan ay nakahawa din po sa ibang tao. Let's assume po na this pattern continues to the following days. Ilan kaya ang maging positive sa COVID pagkarating ng 10 days or ng 15th day or ng 7th day? So marami po, di ba? So kaya po, para hindi ka mahawaan, mag-ingat ka po at huwag ka na gumala. Stay at home. Okay? So ito nga po. So paano kaya natin ma-solve or mabilang ang cases ng COVID? Simple lang po. We have to apply the concept of geometric sequence. Okay, so lesson presentation, geometric sequence is a sequence in which the term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number called the common ratio, which is denoted by R. If naalala natin sa topic po natin na arithmetic sequence, we have the common difference. Dito naman po sa geometric sequence, yung tawag naman po is common ratio. If sa arithmetic sequence, Yung symbol ng common difference is D sa common ratio naman po na dito sa geometric sequence, the symbol is R. Okay? So here is the formula of the geometric sequence. We have A sub N equals A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. N minus 1 ay exponent po yun. Okay? So same lang po yan sa dati nating topic po. A sub 1 is the first term. Okay, A sub N, palagi po, the N term or the last term. And then our N is the number of terms and then our R is the common ratio. So when we say ratio po, divide. Unlike sa arithmetic sequence, we have the common difference. Pag sinabing common difference po, isa subtract natin yung term sa kanyang previous term. Pero dito naman po sa geometric sequence, in order to find the common ratio, we have to divide the term po na ganyan sa kanyang previous term. Like for example, we have to divide second term sa kanyang first term. Or pwede rin, we have to divide the fifth term sa kanyang fourth term. Okay? To find the common ratio. Okay? So next, we have activity number one. Sagutan po natin, find the common ratio of the following geometric sequence. Okay, in the sequence number 1, we have 2, negative 4, 8, and negative 16. Ano kaya yung common ratio dito? Simple lang po. I-divide natin yung term sa kanyang previous term. Like for example, second. 4, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Diba? And then 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. Therefore, our common ratio or R is negative 2. For the second 
second sequence po, we have 3, 9, 27. So, simply lang po. To find the common ratio, we have to divide 27 sa kanyang previous term which is 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. Ibig sabihin po, 3 yung ating common ratio. Okay? And then for example number 3, we have 7, negative 28, and 112. Simply lang, in, in finding the common ratio, divide lang po natin. 112 divided by negative 28 equals negative 4. And then negative 28 divided by 7, negative 4. Din po. Therefore, the constant ratio is negative 4. For the sequence number 4, we have 240 and 8. In finding the common ratio, i-divide lang po natin ulit. 8 divided by 40. O, sige po, i-process natin. 8 divided by 40 po. Hindi po siya pwede maging 5 kasi nga po mas maliit yung numerator natin kaysa sa denominator. Diba? 8 divided by 40. Ibig sabihin, i-divide natin both numerator and denominator po sa divisible sa kanilang dalawa na number. So ano po yung divisible sa kanilang dalawa na number? Siyempre, 8. Okay? So ibig sabihin, 8 divided by 8 is 1, and then 40 divided by 8 is 5. Kaya po, nagiging 1 fifth yung common ratio po dito. Or pwede rin po, 1 over 5, i-divide po natin, i-decimal po natin, magiging 0 0.2. Okay, same process din po dito. 40 divided by 200, magiging 1 over 5 din po yan. Pag i-simplify natin. Okay? Example number 5. You have 1, 1 fourth, 1 sixteenth, and the 1 over 64. Okay, to find the common ratio, if divide lang po natin ulit. Yung numerators po natin ay 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, ibig sabihin po, yung numerator natin, sa sagot natin is 1. Then six, sa denominator po, 64 divided by 6 equals 4. Uh, 64 divided by 16 equals 4. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4. Ibig sabihin, 1 fourth po yung common ratio natin. Okay? Or yung 1 fourth, it change natin into decimal, magiging 0 0.25 po yun. Fraction and decimal, parehas lang po yun yung value nila. It's up to you kung saan po yung gagamitin mo. Okay? So, yan po yung pag-find ng common ratio. Next, proceed tayo sa next. Example number one. So, find the sixth term of the geometric sequence 4, 12, 36. Ito po, ilagay natin sa real-life example po. Exa ito po, di ba? 4 is the first term, 12 is the second term, and then 36 is the third term. Or lagay po natin. Sa first day, yung case na COVID is 4. Pagka second day is 12. And then pagka third day po is 36 yung case ng COVID. Okay, using that sequence, for 12, 36, meron po silang common ratio na 3. Because 36 divided by 3 at uh, 12 is 3. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Therefore, the common ratio is 3. Okay, dito po. So ilan kaya yung magiging case ng COVID? Like for example, pagka sixth day. Iyan po. Sige po, sagutan natin. Ayan, solution, lagyan natin ng formula ng geometric sequence. Which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Lagyan natin ng given. a sub 1 po natin is 4. O sa first day po, 4 yung cases ng COVID. Okay po. N, number of terms. Ibig sabihin po, yung sixth. Okay. Ibig sabihin, 6 yung ating n. And then, r po natin or the common ratio, nag-divide po tayo kanina dito. 36 divided by 12 is 3. And then, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Therefore, the constant ratio or the common ratio is 3. How about a sub n? When I say a sub n, the last term or yung number na pang sixth term mismo. Ano po kaya yon? Siyempre, hindi pa natin alam kasi nga po, hindi pa natin nasagutan. So, question mark pa po muna. Okay, so yan, so kompleto na po yung given natin, isubstitute na lang natin sa formula. Uh, instead of n, gawin natin 6, a sub 1 is 4, our r is 3, 
and our n minus 1. Okay, following the PEMDAS rule, unahin natin yung exponent, syempre, 6 minus 1 is 5. And then, following the PEMDAS rule ulit, mas unahin natin yung exponent before tayo mag-multiply. Huwag po natin multiply na 4 times 3 before tayo mag-exponent. Okay? So, 3 raised to 5 po muna. 3 raised to 5, it means uh, ka 5 po natin i-multiply yung 3. Ibig sabihin, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 243 po. Ayan. And then, nasagutan na po natin yung exponent. Proceed po tayo sa multiplication. Multiply lang po natin. 4 times 243 equals 972. Ibig sabihin, yung 6th term natin is 972. Or ilagay natin sa real-life example sa COVID-19 po. Pagka 6th day po, yung magiging case ng COVID is 972. Diba? So, mabilis po makahawa yung COVID. Kaya po, mag-ingat po tayo. So, example number two, we have find the 12th term of the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12. Okay, so we have the sequence 3, 6, 12. First is we have to find the common ratio po muna. I-divide lang po natin. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Iba po? And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. Ibig sabihin, yung common ratio natin is 2. Sige po, lagyan natin ng formula, lagyan natin ng given po. A sub 1 or the first term is 3 and po or the number of terms dito po natin kunin dito sa 12 term. Ibig sabihin, our n is 12. Okay, and then our r or the common ratio is 2 galing po kanina dito sa dinivide natin. Then our a sub n is question mark ulit or yung a sub n yan po yung pang 12 term or a sub 12. Okay? Substitute lang po natin sa formula yung mga given po natin dyan, kompleto na po yan. Instead of n, gawin natin 12, a sub 1 is 3, common ratio is 2, and then subtract natin sa 1. Ulitin ko po, unahin natin yung exponent na 12 minus 1 magiging 11. And then dito po, huwag tayo muna mag-multiply na 3 times 2, unahin po natin yung 2 raised to 11. Yung 2 po, ka 11 natin i-multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 hanggang sa 11. Ano kaya po yung sagot? Okay, yung sagot po dyan is 2,048. Ayan, so after po nyan, i-multiply na lang natin 3 times 2,048 equals 6,144 o 6,144. So yung 12 term po natin is 6,144. For example, number 3, we have the given a sub 1 equals negative 6. Our common ratio is question mark or yan po yung hanapin natin. And then a sub 3 or the last term is negative 54. So paano po natin isolve? How to find the common ratio? Simply lang, gamitan natin ulit ng formula. Okay? So dito po yung hahanapin natin is yung r. A sub n po natin, kasi po yung pang last term is yung A sub 3, ibig sabihin our A sub n is negative 54. Then our A sub 1 is negative 6, and remain R kasi po siya yung inahanap natin. And then n is 3 because yung last term po natin dito is A sub 3, di ba? So 3 po yung n po natin. So 3 minus 1 equals, syempre magiging 2 po yan yung exponent natin. Pero dito po, kasi yung R yung hinahanap natin, pero may coefficient po siya na negative 6. Para maging R squared na lang, i-divide po natin both sides by negative 6. Sa kung ano yung number na katabi ng R. Okay? So negative 6 divided by negative 6 is equal to, ne is equal to positive 1 or simply cancel natin. Yung matira po dyan is R squared na lang. Okay? So, negative 54 divided by negative 6 is positive 9. So, 9 equals R squared na po yung equation natin dito, but hindi pa po siya final kasi nga po yung R natin may kasama pang squared. Ano gagawin natin para makansil yung squared? Simple lang po, lagyan natin ng square root both sides. Okay? So, ayan, cancel natin yung square root, cancel natin yung squared or... Square root of r squared equals r. How about the square root of 9? Square root of 9 is positive and negative 3. 
Palagi po yung sagot ng square root is positive and negative. We have two solutions po. Okay? Next, example number four. A sub 1 equals question mark, R equals negative 4, and A sub 4 equals negative 448. Our last term here is yung A sub 4 na negative 448. Okay? Lagyan natin ng formula po. We have to find the first term naman or A sub 1. So palitan natin ng negative 448 yung A sub n. Kasi po yung last term is ganyan. A sub 1 is remain A sub 1 kasi nga po siya yung hinahanap natin. Our R is negative 4, substitute lang po. And then yung N is 4 because po A sub 4 yung pinaka-last natin na number dito. Ibig sabihin the number of terms is 4. Okay? So unahin natin yung 4 minus 1. Magiging 3 po yan yung exponent. Negative 4 raised to 3. Ibig sabihin po katatlo natin i-multiply yung negative 4. Sige, i-process po natin. Negative 4 Multiply natin sa negative 4 times negative 4. Ayan po. So negative 4 times negative 4 equals positive, 64, uh, positive 16. Tama po ba? And then positive 16 po, it times natin ulit sa negative 4. The answer is negative 64. Okay? Kaya po yung negative 4 raised to 3 ay magiging negative 64. Then a sub 1 times negative 64 is negative 64 a sub 1. Dapat po palaging mauuna yung number kaysa sa variable. Okay? And then para maging a sub 1 na lang kasi siya po yung inahanap natin, pero may kasama pa siyang negative 64 sa katabi, so we have to divide both sides by negative 64. Okay? So cancel natin yung negative 64 or or negative 64 divided by negative 64 equals 1. Yung matira po dyan is A sub 1 na lang. Okay? So negative 444 divided by negative 64 is positive 7. Therefore, our first term is positive 7. Ayan. So next, example number 5. Find the A term of the geometric sequence. Negative 4, 8, negative 16. Ayan po. We have to find the A term. Ibig sabihin po, yung N po natin or yung number of terms is 8. Ayan. But first, we have to find the common ratio. Negative 16 divided by 8 equals negative 2. And then negative 8 divided by neg uh, positive 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2 din po. Ibig sabihin, ang common ratio po natin is negative 2. Okay? So, lagyan po natin ng solution and ang formula. Lagyan muna natin ang given po. A sub 1 is negative 4. Number of terms is 8. Galing po dito sa A term. Okay po? And then our common ratio or R is negative 2. And then our A sub N is question mark. Ayan. So substitute po natin. A sub N equals A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. Substitute lang po. Ayan, instead of a sub 1, ginawa nating negative 4. And instead of r, ginawa nating negative 2. N is 8 minus 1. Unahin po natin yung exponent. 8 minus 1 po equals 7. The negative 2 raised to 7 po, ibig sabihin yung negative 2 ka 7 natin i-multiply. Kahit i-check mo po sa calculator, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Okay, hanggang sa 7 mo, ikka 7 mo i-multiply, the answer is negative 128. Yung negative 4, i-multiply natin sa negative 128. Okay po, magiging 512 po siya. Ayan, so A sub 8 equals 512 or yung A term po natin is 512. Ay, maraming salamat po. Bless us all.